Alrighty, let's take a look at this question. We want to evaluate using the properties of logarithms, and those are those three laws that you have on your formula sheet. Um, okay, so when we look at this, first thing I would notice is you want to look at the base of the logarithms, and you'll notice they're all different. So we actually aren't combining those logs into a single log because the bases are different. However, but then when you examine a, the argument inside the logarithm, um, like log base 3 of 27, 27 could be written as a power of base 3, which would be the same base on the logarithm. So that's actually a good thing. So let me just write this down and look at that. We can do that with the next logarithm too, because 25 and 5 are connected to each other. And the other one's not as obvious, log base 4 of 1, but we'll talk about that one when we get to it. Okay, so first of all, we want to write 27 as 3 to some exponent because the nature of logarithms is that if you can have the base on the log and the base on the power the same, then the value of the log is simply the exponent on that power that's inside the argument. So that means um, we could write 27 as 3 to the exponent of 3. Okay, and we'll come back to what that equals. Well, it will equal 3, but we'll get there. And then 2 log base 5. Now, 25, just 25, not 1 over 25. 25 would be 5 squared, so 1 over 5 squared. But that's not quite a power just of base 5 because it's 1 over that, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to move that power to the numerator so that it becomes 5 to the exponent of negative 2. Because when you move a power from denominator to numerator or other way around, the exponent changes sign. All right, so that one's good to go. We've got the same base. Now minus 2 thirds log base 4 and we want to replace 1 with 4 to some exponent. Now, 1 is kind of a special number. Um, we could actually replace 1 with any power uh, with any base, really, as long as the exponent is a 0. So if I make that exponent 0, 4 to the 0 is equal to 1. So there we go. Now we have our base is the same. Uh, we haven't changed anything because 4 to the zero, 0 still equals 1, but we'll be able to simplify that now that we have the same base. All right, so log base 3 of 3 to the exponent of 3. Since the bases are the same, that just equals the exponent of 3 minus 2, and then we're going to replace log base 5 of 5 to the exponent of negative 2. Bases are both 5, so therefore it equals the exponent of negative 2 and then minus 2 thirds, and finally log base 4 of 4, bases are the same, so it equals the exponent of 0. And then we just simplify that, 3 uh, plus 4 minus 0, we equal 7. And there we go. I hope that helped.